and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, and I'm here with your readings for May the 6th through May the 12th. In the spirit of getting these readings out on time, I am economising. It has taken so much time for me to get these readings out. Um, so what I want to do, I have been doing individual um, horoscopes, uh, astrology readings in the beginning. So I'm going to do one general horoscope uh, reading, astrological reading, um, and I'll click, I'll put that onto every video before the uh, the tarot reading and I'll put skip times if you don't want to watch it again if you're checking out your sun moon and rising because these are your sun moon and rising guys check them all out all the links will be in the show more uh, section below and all the skip times will be on there too um if you're new, welcome. I really hope you enjoy these readings and that you will come back and that you will subscribe. I want to thank everyone for all the likes, shares, comments and the new subscribers. And if you are returning, darling, I live for you guys. <laughs> Thank you for supporting my uh, channel and um, and always coming back. I love that. Now, uh, these readings are general readings, guys. They are for the collective. Please don't assume that everything I say in a reading is meant for you. If there's nothing in there that resonates with you, come back at the end of the week or come back next week and maybe there's something in there for you. Take what resonates and just leave the rest, yeah? So yes, if you would like a personal in-depth reading and also, you know, personal horoscope or natal chart um, uh, interpretation, please click on this link. It will take you to my website and you can see all the readings that uh, I offer. Now, it on Sunday, it is Mother's Day, or as we say in England, Mothering Sunday. So happy Mother's Day. And I know in England, Mother's Day is kind of in March. I'm, I'm missed it. So in honor of my mum and my dad, because it was my dad's birthday on May the 2nd, uh, he's no longer on this physical plane. Um, so in honor of my mum and dad, I want, I've, I've come up with this shorter reading that's more affordable. It's a 15 minute reading. But if you click on that link and go to my website, you'll be able to see all the different types of readings and services that I offer. And another way to support my channel is through Patreon. And that link is right here. Patre you can support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. That's not a lot of money, but it's huge for me. I can do a lot with that. Um, and, and it's just another way to perhaps give back. And, you know, you can make a one-time small donation. No donation is too small. Um, so now, with all that out of the way, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, and this is your astrology section of the reading. This will be on every reading, and the skip time will be in the show more section below. Um, so please, if you're checking out your sun, moon, and rising, or you're not interested in astrology per se, um, or the planetary alignments that are going on, the cosmic juices and energy that flows, um, skip it. <laughs> okay, so... We are still feeling Mars opposing Jupiter right now, um, which it was complete, which was exact on Sunday. I'm actually recording this on Saturday, the new moon. I'm planting a seed. Um, so uh, the new moon in Taurus is happening today, and I am recording this on Saturday. So actually tomorrow, Sunday, and by the time you get this, it will probably be yesterday or even on Sunday, um, you're going to be feeling that energy. If you want to know more about that, at the end of this uh, video, I will put a link to that video um, where you can see what's going on. And they were individualized uh, astrology um, readings last week. It's just too time consuming. It takes me a whole day to write those, so I'm not doing that. So anyway, Let's go into what's going on this week. And uh, Monday, Mercury, the planet of communication and thought process, um, moves into Taurus. Now, it is joining the Sun, 
Um, and so there are three planets in there. There'll be the Sun, there's Uranus, and now we'll have Mercury. Now Mercury and Taurus, things kind of slow down, right? So your thinking process will slow down. You will be more thoughtful. Um, your decision making will be more thought out, perhaps you know, very lengthy, um, you're not going to make quick decisions because we've come out of areas where it was impulsive, quick, you know, making decisions like that, um, sometimes to our detriment, but it was fast moving. So things are going to, you know, slow down a bit. Your communication will be deliberate and very, um, you know, there won't be any, uh, what, what do I want to say? You won't be saying things quickly. Of course, it depends on where the planet, um, what, what aspects it has in your uh, house, in your natal chart. If you, natal charts are free all over the place. You want to get a natal chart, you can go onto any website and get that. If you would like an interpretation of that natal chart, you can go to my website and make an appointment and I'll, um, I'll do that for you. So, um, Wednesday, Mercury joins Uranus. Uranus and things will speed up, right? So it gets very, it's like conjunct. So things get very fast. Mercury, Uranus is like really kind of lightning, it's thunder, sudden happening. So, you know, you by Wednesday, you could be saying things without thinking, but your mind is working really like faster than you can keep up. It's like, zzz, you know? Um, so you'll be quick-witted, sharp-minded, and, and when these two planets get together. So it's really kind of uh, interesting. Now, on Saturday, the Sun is in a beautiful relationship, what we call trying to Saturn. Now, this is an incredible practical energy. It's a perfect... Look, first of all, Saturn is retrograde. It went retrograde last. It's traveling backwards, right? It went backwards last week. It went retrograde. Now, what happens during that time? It's a really good time to kind of go over, revisit things, reorganize, especially with the sun. It's about organization, right? Um, and this practical energy. So it's, it's fire, but it's practicality. So it's really good to reorganize and restructure any part of your life that you have kind of left on the back burner or put to the side or something that's been at the back of your mind and you've been wanting to do. It could be, you know, organizing your closets. It could be all kind, you know, whatever it is, your paperwork. Uh, it's what I'm doing right now. I'm going through years and years of paperwork and I'm trying to get rid of seven years of it. You know, I mean, I have paperwork going back. So I need to kind of uh, do that. that. This is a wonderful time to do that. Um, now, this is also a karmic time. And it's a good opportunity to right some wrongs um, and to work on anything that's been niggling you. Um, you may surprise yourself. This work, that, this kind of work that you've been putting off, you might surprise yourself by really enjoying it and getting into it because this energy is going to support you and it's going to get you into it. Once you start, you'll be into it. Um, and, and not to mention the satisfaction of completing it, you know, it's such a great thing. So if you can start something, right, at the new moon, which is Sunday, you know, Monday too, um, see where how far you've, you've gotten in two weeks when you can complete things. Um, it'll be really um, interesting. So start it, guy. Plant those seeds. The new moon's about planting seeds, you know. Plant seeds of, you know, abundance or, you know, what are you planning for the future? Plant those seeds now. It's a beautiful time and a perfect opportunity to do so. So let's go to your tarot cards reading, shall we? Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your tarot section of your reading. And I just want to mention uh, my dad's birthday was on the 2nd of May, or it would have been if he was on here on the, this plane. So happy birthday to my dad. I want to give a shout out. First of all, my wonderful son. I am so proud of the human being he has become. 
Um, so it is his birthday on April, uh, sorry, May the 7th, that is on Tuesday, so happy birthday to my lovely son Aiden. And um, my dear friend Benny Soto, happy birthday. And Camilla, the triple Toro darling, I'm going to be spending time at um, at uh, astro the astrology conference in Seattle with my lovely triple Toro. Um, she's uh, a Taurus sun, moon, and rising. <laughs> she's just lovely. I love her. Um, who else do we have? Um, uh, who? Oh, Giselle, Gisela. Um, happy birthday to Gisela. She's also a Taurus. And um, Alison, Alison Turner, happy birthday. And anybody else? I hope I haven't missed someone out. You know, I'll probably think about this afterwards. But anyway, let's get to your reading, shall we? Um, three cards for Taurus, please. Three cards for Taurus um, for this week. Three cards for Taurus, please. What wonderful messages, guidance, and information can you give Taurus on this, their birthday month? Let's make it blessings, please. Oh, lovely. And there you go. Three cards for Taurus. Um, you've got three three planets in your sign, Taurus. You're going to be, and this is probably a very emotional time. The moon is exalted in your sign. It's very happy. Um, your life is going to have lots of changes going on over the next seven years with Uranus in there. Um, so it is definitely a time for change. Okay, please, this is for Taurus, please clarifying cards, please clarify the... Lovely. And please clarify the king. Oh, that. Di oh, OK. This definitely came out. Please clarify. There you go. Oh, two of them came out. Ah, oh, very, very interesting. OK, interesting. OK. Let's take a look at your card, shall we? Okay, Taurus, the first card you have is the Temperance card. Clarifying the Temperance card is the Two of Pentacles. Then you have, look at this, you've got the King of Pentacles and the King, a double thing of King of Pentacles. This is very interesting. And you have the, this is the full, this is an, oh, I'm, or I don't want to interpret it. Okay, so there you go. This is the full and clarifying the full is the five of pentacles and the three of pentacles. I was already trying to, you know, silly me. Okay, so the first card that comes up for you is the temperance card. This is, the mantra for this card is everything in moderation. This is about balancing your life, Taurus. Um, you, you've probably got a lot going on and you have to really balance your life very carefully. And look, clarifying it is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is saying that you do have a lot going on and you are a multitasker. You might have two jobs or you might have, you know, children and a job. You might have, um, you might have a job and be doing your life purpose. You know, whatever it is, there's a lot going on for you. And this is saying, first of all, everything in moderation. Don't overdo anything. Don't overeat. Don't over. Don't work t too much. Don't um, don't drink too much. Don't do drugs if you do drugs. Whatever it is that you do too much of, don't do it. Um, shopping, whatever it is, and and the Two of Pentacles is saying that you've got a lot going on, so you must balance it. But keep your eye on the ball. I always think that this is telling you to really be in the moment. Don't be distracted. If you're at work, be at work. If you're at home, be at home. Don't be at home and on your phone about work. You know, make sure that you are not ignoring 
a part of your life. So if your loved ones, if you're at home with your loved ones, be with them, do something with them. If you're at work, be at work, don't be on the phone with people at home. It's, it's really important to just be where you are at. And this is really saying bring the focus in, Taurus, because when you, if you don't focus, you could drop the ball. So you need to be on the ball, right? You need your eye ball on the ball. You need to ball the ball. That didn't come out right. <laughs> you know what I mean. So of course now you have the King of Pentacles and uh, and, and you have clarifying is the King of Pentacles, darling. <laughs> the King of Pentacles is about manifestation. It's about manifesting wealth. He is about opulence. He's about accumulating wealth. He is about um, being surrounded by luxurious things. He, you know, look, the key words for Taurus is I have. <laughs> this is accumulation. Now, this is saying, you know, this is abundance. This is manifesting abundance. But guess what? The King of Pentacles just understands that you have to get um, all this abundance through hard work. And, and so he understands that. You'll see the king, the king will be out in the fields with all of his subjects, with his arms, his sleeves rolled up and he's toiling in the soil um, because he knows it takes hard work for this opulence. He knows he's got to work to, to gain um, this material wealth that he so desperately seeks and needs for his security. So this is saying that this is happening. Now, what's really interesting is you have the fall. So you're coming into this new uh, phase of your life, uh, Taurus, and you have a little uh, fear. There's some kind of fear going on. There's fear that you won't make enough. There's fear that you won't be secure enough for the future, that you won't have enough. And the reason I say that is because you have the Five of Pentacles clarifying this. Now, the fall is about a, a new path forward. This You're going into a new phase of your life, whatever this is for you. It could be a new job. It could be a new career. It could be, you know, becoming a parent or a grandparent or, you know, the owner of a pet or an extra pet, whatever it is. Um, you are kind of embarking on something new. It could be a business, you know, moving to a new, whatever it is for you. Um, and, and this is... This is about looking at this change as an adventure because the energy of the of the fool is it, he's naive, right? So it's naivete. He truly believes that whatever he's supported by the universe, he thinks if he jumps off a cliff, you know, the wind will carry him down. He's very naive. And so he's got this wondrous, um, joyous, outlook on life you know he's like oh wow what is going to happen next this is so exciting everything is an adventure right um and then you know people who've been around a while they're like oh no what's going to happen next you know they're like oh god i don't know what's around the corner you know they're in fear right <laughs> so you are being asked to have the fool's energy about this change and Brace that change. Be excited about that change. This is a really good change. Don't be in fear, right? Don't be in fear. Now, what's really interesting, you have two cards clarifying the fall, this new adventure you're going on. You have this, which is deprivation, really, you know, focusing on what you haven't got and how you can't do it and what's the, you know, what's going to happen. You know, you're going to be destitute and you, you won't have any money and no one's, you know, you'll, you'll be begging on the street, <laughs> you know, um, and Taurus, Taurians go there. They, they're afraid. They're afraid of, they don't like change, right? Taurus, Taurus don't like change. They're a fixed sign. They just want it. They want the status quo. They don't want the boat to rock. And then also you have the three of uh, pentacles, right? So these are all manifestation, right? You've got the two of pentacles. You've got two kings. And you, you have two what they're called major arcana cards. So this is about change for you. Um, 
Now, the Three of Pentacles, it's like Jupiter, it's expansion. This can mean for you to be a team player, right? It's very important for you to be a team player. It can also mean that your family is expanding. Your world is expanding. You could be expecting a baby. Last week, I think that was for you guys. I always remember that because my son, I'm like, not another grandchild. <laughs> I welcome that. Um, so this could be about, you know, you could be getting a new pet, you know, you're, you know, it could be a little, you know, a four legged, um, little baby coming into your house. Something is happening where there's an expansion in your life. And this is a new adventure for you. It's a new phase of your life and, and look upon it as exciting. It is exciting. Don't worry about not having enough because you will. And, and this could be a new job for some. So this is about, or a new career, this is about being a team player. Work with the team, Taurus. It's very important to be part of the team for you to go forward. So it looks very exciting for you. Happy birthday to you all whose birthday it is in the next week or two. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video and share it on your social media or share it with friends, or, you know, email or text it, the links, if you think someone would get something from it. And please comment. I live for feedback and comment and I answer every comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you next week.